A lot of the bacteria that live on us and the germs that live on us are crucial for our own survival. And if we take the approach, sorry, if we take the approach that we got to kill them all, we're in a way signing our own death warrant because uh, by living in harmony with them, we'll enhance our own health. And it's getting the balance right. It's you know figuring out which infections are actually helping our immune system develop and um, are kind of benefiting us, and which you don't want to take a chance with, and you need to treat quickly and effectively. And it's that sort of sense of balance that um, people, I think, have lost sight of. What percentage of antibiotics is it generally understood are prescribed unnecessarily? Well, they say about 80% of all antibiotics are prescribed in the community by GPs and at least 50% of those are probably unnecessary. In other words, that 50% of all antibiotics that you get in, in the community are probably not going to help you get it better any quicker. And the, and, and the bad thing is they might do you some harm. There are a lot of side effects from antibiotics and then of course there's the cost and the problem of antibiotic resistance. And we're wondering uh, if you've got a cold, would you go to your doctor looking for Never. antibiotics? Never. 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 Where are you from? Uh, right just outside of Chicago, Illinois. Okay. What happens if you've got a cold? You know, does your doctor offer them to you or did you ever have you would you you're more educated on antibiotics than a lot of people. Is that right? Oh, well, you tell me. No, I have no education in antibiotics. I'm an emergency medicine physician. Ah. <laughs> so tell me, tell me this. Well, why, listen, why are we going around and we're talking to pharmacists in this country and all across Europe, right, and they're, they're prescribing antibiotics. If I go into a pharmacist and say, I've got a cold, give me some antibiotics, give me antibiotics. Right. Because I've got you, no med training. And because you want it.